Hey you guys, it's Miranda from Diamond Painting with the Besties. How are you? So I'm in the car. It is time to go. The day is here. Brad, <clears throat> excuse me, Brad is graduating. I'm just backing out of my driveway right now. Oh my God, I cannot believe the day is here. I told you guys I will do my best to vlog as much of this as I can. There will be footage, I promise there will be footage of Brad's graduation. Um, the dogs are pissed. I'm waiting for my friend Melissa to text me back um, to see if she wants Starbucks or not. Let's see. I guess I will just go to the Chevron. I'm going to get gas at Costco because it is way cheaper because as you know that the gas prices in California are insane. I know they're high for everyone. Oh, I need to open my window. They are high for everyone. However, um, we have a gas tax and it's just crazy. So it's already expensive and then there's a tax, so it's even more expensive. But now it's starting to come down a little bit, but I'm still going to Costco, plus I want my points. So I'm gonna stop at 7-Eleven and then, or not 7-Eleven, at the Chevron. And then I'm gonna go pick up my friend Melissa and then we are going to be on our way. So, the trip is kind of boring. I'm gonna try and vlog going over the grapevine, which is basically the portal, the road, right? We go over the mountain that connects Southern California to the Central Valley. There's two passes, like really big passes here in California, well in the valley. There's the Pachenko Pass, which brings you up to going towards the Bay Area which is way easier to navigate and not as long as the grapevine. The grapevine takes about 45 minutes. And we call the grapevine like purgatory because it could be sunny on both sides, but you could go through fire, snow, rain, like almost all at the same time. Like I'm totally exaggerating, but there are fires during the summer. You'll be driving through and there'll be fires everywhere and they close it because it snows, the elevation is super high. And didn't nobody leave me a freaking way to get through. So now I gotta go around. There better be a damn parking spot over here. Um, I got Bella a ride home from practice because after today, and there's no damn parking, like what the hell? I gotta park in this far ass spot, you guys watch I'm gonna park and this fool gonna back out anyway park the hell over here um anyway yeah um they close it sometimes but it is right now it's 57 degrees at 8 15 in the morning I brought a sweatshirt because going down towards the coast is like an arctic tundra all right I'll be back you guys hey I'm back damn that line was long this lady in front of me taking forever to buy a damn lotto scratch-offs at 8.20 in the morning. Nothing like starting this segment off looking at the dirt lot next to the Chevron, right? Oh. So I figured I'd turn you around this way so you can see kind of what it looks like where I live. Once we get on the highway, you know, I won't be doing all that because that's just boring and all you guys are going to see is fields and dirt and not what you think California looks like because I too was mistaken when I first came out here. I thought all of California looked like beautiful Southern California or like in the Bay area, but no, this is ag land. And these people be driving like crazy here. So now we're going to get my friend Melissa gas for eight, for 87 octane is uh, $5.59. Next one up is seven five seventy nine, and the next is five eighty nine. That's like Chevron, but you know Chevron is always expensive. Take my behind to Costco. As much, <coughs> oh God, excuse me. As much as I would have preferred to take Maleficent, my fancy car, when gas prices like this, and I got to put ninety one in that. Pass. Maleficent gonna stay right in, um, right in the garage. I do gotta drive this weekend, and we'll probably take her to Merced. 
on Sunday for that other meet, but no. And I didn't forget anything to bring to Brad's. <sighs> People out walking. That person needs to mow their dang lawn. That irks me. If I had a neighbor that did that, like everybody else has their lawns like nice and kept and then you got that one neighbor where it looks like a bag of ass like seriously like get your life together <laughs> get someone mow the damn lawn like once it's all brown and dried up and it's not there are people that live there alrighty there better be a damn parking spot Melissa got so many cars with her kids and stuff I'm gonna park where her husband normally parks alright I'll be back Hey guys, I'm back. So Melissa and I are in the car. We've been in here about an hour and a half so far and we're getting close to the grapevine. You can see our lovely air quality here in the Central Valley. It always looks hazy and shitty. And so we have some mountains over here, some dusty ass mountains. But the Central Valley is like mainly like agriculture and ahead you'll see what we call the grapevine and like I explained a little bit earlier it was just like it's like the portal to um, take you from the Central Valley to beautiful Southern California which I promise while we're driving I will show you so you can see the contrast between um, the Central Valley so we're making good time and there's really no really no traffic so hopefully people aren't driving like freak shows on the grapevine, which they tend to do. Uh, Brad's graduation is at 3.30, and he has to leave at 1.30 for graduation practice. Like, I don't know why they don't do that the day before, but they don't. So hopefully we will get there at least for a little while before he has to leave for practice. Because unfortunately, we will have to leave rather not super quick, but shortly after graduation is over, so I'm not rolling back in to Hanford at 10 o'clock at night with uh, our league meet tomorrow. And you guys will be happy to know, since I got that speeding ticket, that I have been just keeping up with traffic, because normally I'd be driving like 90 miles an hour to get down to Brad's. All right, well, when we get closer, uh, we'll come back, so I'll see you in the next clip. Hey guys, I'm back. So it is like windy as hell out. I can feel the car like shaking. So it probably won't be on for very long. But I just wanted to show you kind of what the grapevine looks like. It's just road in between all the mountains and hills and stuff. There's uh, quite a bit of traffic. And there's people driving on here like freak shows just like I uh, expected. And there's this person in their little Mazda SUV on my ass. So I'm waiting to see if they uh, try to pass me or not. Because I'm already going 78, but clearly that's not fast enough for some people. But and where the hell are they going to go? Exactly. You can go off the ravine over here and plummet to their death. And then you can see we have like oncoming traffic right over there. On the hills. And it just loops around. So has everybody recovered from the... Epic Diamond Art Club 50 Canvas launch. I hope people were able to get what they wanted and took advantage of that 25% uh, off code. Not sure how long it's going to last or how long they're going to keep it, but hopefully you will uh, take advantage of that. I'm not going to tell you what it is unless you can, you can find out if you're part of the VIP Facebook group. So also go back and check out Katie from Diamonds and Washi and uh, Lindsay from Emeralds and Fairy Lights. Check out that live. We all, a whole bunch of us hung out, about 500 of us hung out live and kept each other company for an hour. Jesus, this bitch, man. So I'm going to move over to this freaking trollop. I hope she gets a speeding ticket. There she is. Look, you guys see her? Anyway, I stayed up. I went to bed at like 1.30. I was pretty tired, but at least I got what I wanted. 
All right, so I don't need to show you guys any more of this because this is what it's gonna look like for like the next half hour. So I'll see you in the next clip, bye. Hey, it's Miranda, I'm back with another clip. So we are over the grapevine and turned on the highway. So once you get over the grapevine, which I should have showed you, but I wasn't paying attention. We got up on the exit. So now it's about, we have about 40 minutes left um, until we get to Brad's. There's helicopters out here. Um, but you can already tell that it's a lot greener where we are. It does look a little hazy, but that's because we're getting close to the ocean. So I'm, it's 75 degrees now, so it's much warmer down here than it was um, when I left Hanford, like 20 degrees almost. So we're just taking the windy road that leads to the magical ocean, because Brad actually lives probably about maybe a mile from the beach, the Port Wainimi Beach. So that's really nice. I just hope it's not windy, because it always gets really, really windy down here. I need to get in this faster lane, but I'm blocked in. And I move over, but this dude in this Tahoe is driving like really, really fast. Oh. More popo, just popo everywhere. You guys, if you're ever in California, don't get a speeding ticket. My speeding ticket that I got a couple weeks ago, they dropped it down to 10 over. It's $300, and that's if I take the traffic course. So, I guess I was doing good. I hadn't gotten a speeding ticket in like nine years, so I guess it was time. And then Bryant wanted to be all like, I've never gotten a speeding ticket. And I was like, well, good for you. People just want people just want to show off. But anyway, um, let me see if I can move this over a little bit so you can kind of see how green. There's lots of like citrus and tons of avocado trees. Sometimes I want to pull over the side of the road and be going in these fields and picking all the avocados, but I ain't trying to go to jail either. But they always have tons of like fruit stands on the side of the road. Maybe on the way back we can hit them up if they're open. And they just have like them for like really, really cheap. Because back home it's like, for a large avocado it's like, what is it like there? Oh yeah, that's the one I was talking about. Film. Is that? Oh yeah, this one's really good. So I have to remember. Um, yeah, it's like $2.80 for like one large avocado. That would be gone in like one day. So, oh my God, there's always traffic. It's only, uh, what time is it? 11.46 right now. So, I don't know why. There, it's lots of trucks mainly. But let me move this over so you guys can get a little bit more visual. I haven't been down this way since Brad's birthday. If you guys remember, I came down for his birthday last October. So, it's been a little while. Alright, well, I'm going to let you go. And I'll see you in the next clip. Hey everyone, it's Brandon from Diamond Painting with the Besties. How are you? I hope everybody had an amazing weekend. Um, it's Monday. Well, Sunday for me, but you guys will see this Monday. And yeah, so I have been trying to film a whip and chat forever forever, forever. And I just haven't had the time. And I finally have, because I'm sure you guys are wondering what I've been up to, where I've been, what's going on. Let me tell you, these last two weeks or so have been incredible. Like probably the best two weeks of this entire year, literally. Um, so I'm going to stop just talking and not doing anything and let us get into it. Um, I am still working, still working on The Adventures of the Great Outdoors by Chuck Pinson um, that I had started for, you know, the Chuck Along Five, I think it was. And that ended like right at the end of um, March. And I'm still working on it. I did take a big break. I just, this thing is massive. And, but I'm officially halfway through. Um, so 
let us get into this, right? I'm gonna turn my light pad on, I'll, and then we'll talk about like what I'm using. It's kind of hot in here. So I'm just using my Stay Golden, Stay Golden Golden Girls Cover Minder. I have a pen from, um, I think this is from Jim's Handmade Pen Shop, which you guys probably can barely see. Let me see if you can see it better if I turn my light off. Yeah, you can. And then this one, I think is my, want to say it's from Lazy River. I can't remember. I'm just using a white boat and my uh, couple trays from Bella Art De Nicole. I've got some pink wax, white wax, and my, um, some little patty wax scented. And then, oops, I just bumped you. And I've got some Not Your Mama's Mud right here. Also, I have another tray with another color in it, which I can't remember because I put all my stuff away. So hopefully I can figure it out. All right, so let me grab a color and let's get started. Unfortunately, I'm in kind of a, well, all, the confetti hasn't really been that bad, but I have had to switch, I have to switch out the colors quite often, so, but it's not bothering me. So let's just see how things go. All right, so let's back up. Besides the fact of driving back and forth for lots of swimming, you guys know that on the 29th of April, or if you don't know, Brad, um, graduated from nursing school. So I took the day off and my friend Melissa and I um, drove down to, well, first we drove down to Port Wainimi and we left early, but it kind of took forever to get down there. It felt like it did, but we got there like just in time before Brad had to leave for graduation rehearsal. But his aunt Radine was out from Ohio and his aunt Kathy was out from um, Syracuse. She lives right near Syracuse. So, and of course his mom was there. Uh, Bella didn't go because she had to go to school and plus she had swim practice after. Um, and then we hung out for a little bit and then we headed to Moore Park because that is where um, the venue was for, oops, for the graduation. And I'm going to insert like video, like pictures and stuff all throughout this whip and chat. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, so anyway, it didn't take us very long to get there. So I was happy we got there early because you know I need my prime seating. I needed to be in the front, which of course, you know, Brad and I were like, trying to pay attention, but we kept making faces at each other. Um, it was very, you know, my friend Melissa is a nurse too. So Brad was super happy. Um, his friend Elena, who is super, super awesome. She was there and she pinned him. It was a really nice um, ceremony. It was a beautiful day. Um, there was a nice cool breeze. So, and it was sunny, I mean, Southern California, so it was beautiful. And um, now the director of the school, she kind of droned on a little bit, but it wasn't too, too bad. Then we had, there was a nice little reception afterwards and we stayed for that just long enough to take pictures and deep breaths and, you know, talk for just a little bit. And then we had to get back in the car, we weren't able to go out to dinner and everything afterwards, which I was really bummed about, but Brad knew I wouldn't be able to stay because I had to get back because on Saturday, the 30th, it was Valley. I mean, not Valley, it was our league meet. Um, so all the teams, you know, the high school teams, they're all in different leagues, right? So we're Central Sequoia League. And this year we were hosting the league meet. So it was us and the other eight teams in our league. And it was flawless. I, my parents stepped up like no other. It was flawless. Um, it was just, it went like amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I was so, so happy. Um, 
everybody was happy. Rhonda was happy, who is Bella's high school coach. Um, it was just absolutely perfect. Um, and let me tell you about some swims. Oh my goodness. I have known Bella's coach Rhonda for years because when Gina was in high school, um, you know, Gina, she only swam one season, but she played water polo and Rhonda was her water polo coach. So Rhonda has known Bella since Bella was like four years old. I, yeah, four years old. Coming on the pool deck just to see her sister. And it was really, you know, it was really, really awesome. Um, so anyway, Bella had the meats of her life. The meat, and I mean the meats of her life. She, you know, if you guys aren't familiar with swimming, I don't want to bore you guys with all this, but um, especially with girls, you know, when they hit their age of puberty, you know, um, sometimes they hit a plateau um, and it comes in waves. You know, Bella hit a plateau and then she'd cut time and then she had hit another plateau. Um, she would cut in other events where she'd cut like little bits and everything. And this was just amazing to watch her. So there... Her first event was the 200 individual medley, and that is um, where you do, it's 200 yards, but it's 50 yards of each stroke. She was on her game, let me tell you what. She cut, she went from a 236, which is her best time, club time, and I got the meet sanction, so all these teams times counted. So that was super exciting as well. Um, their 200 free relay um, cut time. And well, so Bella placed third in the 200 IM. Uh, their 200 free relay, the cut time, um, I don't remember what they placed. And then she swam the 100 fly and she cut time on that and she placed fourth. Um, and then they had their 400 free relay and they cut even more time on that and they placed third. So they were really, really excited about that. They have been working hard. Um, Bella's splits were really good. And yeah, they, was, they were super, super happy. So that was just, it was just exciting all around. It made for a really great day and a great meet. So then after that, um, what they do, oh, and she had made automatic valley times. So they have time standards. So if you swim below this specific time standard, you have a consideration time. And then um, they take the um, automatic time. Then they have the auto time. So if you swim below, like, it, so for instance, for the 100 butterfly, the automatic time is one minute, nine seconds. And if you point whatever, and if you swim below that, then you um, have an auto time. So what does that mean? Like, why is that a big deal? So what happens next is um, they have take all the times from all the different leagues and then they rank them. So say for instance, they're worth, they only take the top 32, I believe that it is. Uh, and so say they have 30 girls that make the auto cut. That means they'll take the top two consideration times. If they only have 10 girls that make the auto cut, they'll take 22 girls with consideration. And that's kind of how that goes. So, um, and this is all through Central Cali Central California swimming. Is this? Oh, hold on, you guys. There is some plastic. Where's my cutter? I was wondering what was going on here. There we go. Sometimes it doesn't always pull back. All right. So then, so that was a really great day. Everybody was happy. The meet was successful. 
Yay. So then on Sunday is when the list came out. It came out super early because the coaches only have until noon on Sunday, the day after, to submit their um, their entries. And then the list is compiled and you find out who made a valley. So they have two valleys. They have Division One and Division Two, And Bella's school is in Division One. Last year, they did two divisions, but since they were coming right off COVID, both divisions had division one time standards. Um, but they still had two separate valleys, if that makes sense. Um, if you guys, if I become confusing or whatever, just let me know. So then, um, after that was the awards banquet. I think I'll just start doing some. Let's. Oh, I gotta put this away. This is H. See, I'll be getting confused. All right. So, next, right, we had um our awards banquet, and that was really nice. You know, we kind of do it like a potluck style. In the beginning of the season, I had come up with this idea that I pitched to Rhonda that um, how about we get special caps made that have, you know, the Hanford West logo on there. And um, it says Valley Team on it. And all the kids that make Valley will get a cap. And she thought that was a great idea, you know, to reward the kids, kind of make them, you know, a little something like special, make them stand out and to motivate the kids for next year, saying like, hey, you guys, if you see, the, see these Valley caps, you know, you make Valley, you're going to get one. And every the kids were so excited. So we have a very, very small team. Um, there were, there, I think there's 20 or 22 kids total on the team. And 12 went to Valley. Out of those 12, well, I don't want to get ahead of myself. So 12 of them went. So... Bella was excited. So what Rhonda, Rhonda let them take pictures with their medals at league. And then she took them back because she likes to present them to them again at um, the banquet. So Bella got her medals and lots of pictures. And she also received the coaches war, the coaches award because, you know, even though Bella is a junior, she was voted the team captain she sacrificed her own practice time to help the girls because Bella is the only one of the girls that swims year round. Well, Drew used to, she doesn't anymore, but um, she would sacrifice her own practice time um, to make sure that the, you know, the kids were getting the best and they could do their best. You know, when she saw any mistakes, she would fix them. And so that just goes to show that the coach, I told Bella, you know, that shows that the coach recognizes and notices all your hard work and what you sacrifice as a team player to help the other kids. And it's just not the girls. She, you know, helps some of the boys also. And she's just, she's a helper. She likes to do that. So she was really happy. I was really proud of her. You know, of course she got her, her certificate and she already has her varsity letter. So she got her little swimmer patch to go with it. Um, what else? She, so anyway, yeah, she was super excited. Rhonda was excited because, you know, the kids make Valley and yeah, that's how it was. So Bella was not very happy about where she was seated though for Valley. Um, that was kind of hard for her because this year's was much faster than last year. But she did cut even more time than she did at league. So on Friday, Valley is two days. Friday is preliminaries and then Saturday is finals. And Bella made finals in both her events and um, both the relays made finals also, which is awesome with their 200 free relay because they were seated, ranked, 
Um, that means the same thing as what seated means. They were seated 17th and the top 16, you know, go to finals. So they have your A final and your, um, cons your other final. I forgot what the hell it's called. I mean, I know what it's called. I just can't remember off the top of my head. Consolation, that's it. So that was cool because both the other girls on the relay, Jordan and Priscilla, didn't make it in their individual events. Uh, Priscilla only made it for relays and Jordan, she made the 500, but didn't make finals, but she still cut a ton of time. And to me, that's winning, especially for Bella too, because those times follow her and they count towards her year round meets. So anyway, um, she was bummed that she didn't make the A final, but she was really, really happy with all the time cuts. And the biggest time cut, she didn't cut at um, in her IM for finals, but she only added like a second, so it was no big deal. But her goal um, for the 400 free relay was to break a minute. They each, you know, in the 400 free relay, each girl swims um, 100 yards. So Bella was the lead off for the relay this time. At that league, she was the anchor, meaning the last person. And this time Rhonda switched it up and Bella was going first. And her goal was to break one minute or to call, we call it sub one. And let me tell you, she did just that. She did just that. She went a 59.94. It was amazing. It was just so much fun. I was so proud of her. And it was a really great way to um, end the season. So that time will count for her and has already been updated in the SWIMS database. So she's super excited about that. So now I have a little bit of time. I don't have to like deal with high school SWIM and year round SWIM. Um, so that's really nice. What is even better is that we are finally back at our home pool in Tulare. So I don't have to drive 45 minutes to an hour, you know, whenever it's my turn to drive. Um, it's, it's just like one of the best feelings ever. So now it's like a 20 minute drive. Let me see why there's just too many H's and K's together. All right, I need to put these H's up. So another thing too. So you guys remember when I got, um, oh, six minus not K. You guys remember when I got that speeding ticket? Yeah, so anyway, I got everything in the mail, but the wrong thing is marked off. It says nothing about traffic school and it has the section marked off for like, um, Like if you have a fine, like if you have tinted windows and they're too dark or your taillights out. So it's saying, you know, that I need to make corrections. Well, I don't really understand what I'm supposed to correct because I think the wrong section is marked off. So I am going to have to call tomorrow during my lunch and kind of figure out uh, what I'm supposed to do. I wonder if that means I'll get out of it since they made a technical error. Because that would be absolutely amazing because my ticket with traffic, like with like the correction or whatever. Well, it says that it's like $297, but it might be totally different now because um, it's the wrong thing is marked off. So yeah, I'm gonna have to call because I'm really not happy about that. And I'm glad that I looked now instead of waiting to the last minute so I wouldn't be freaking screwed. So everything is not due to like the middle of June. So yeah, I'm super happy that I looked right now. Oh, so, um, oh, big news. I am going, as of tomorrow, I am going back to the floor um, as a mechanic. I did enjoy my time in production control, but um, I need, I need to be on the floor. I need to be turning wrenches. Um, yes, was it nice in the winter, not being out in the cold at times? Yes, especially since the heater was still broken. Absolutely. But in all honesty, the main reason I'm doing it is because I need to make more money. Your girl bougie, 
um, the trying to ball on a budget was not working out so great for me. Oh my God. Some of these new, some of these drills just be snatching and they're not even ABs, but be snatching the wax out. And this is an old kit too. So it's not like it's, you know, super sharp pointed faceted drills or anything. Um, yeah, so I have to deal with that. And I'm just like, why can't there not be anything I have to deal with? I just want to like live my life and work. So it will be interesting. You know, Brian and I, I inventoried my tools. I did my tool inventory, um, put some stickers that I want to add to my box in there. Um, so I'm going to be doing that. I know I have a couple other stickers too I want to add on there, but I'm going to wait till I get all settled and I'll just do it day by day, see how it goes. But so yeah, that is what's been going on with me. I've just been yeah, trying to get through all that and so that's where I've been, what I'm doing. So where am I going? Hopefully, we don't have anything really for the next couple of weeks. We do have um, a year-round meet coming up. But that's, you know, that'll be nice and everything. I'm sure Harley Bryant's cat won't be amused because we'll be staying over there. Bella's 17th birthday is coming up. So I know I'm going to be like super depressed about that. Um trying to get these college visits going on so far. There's only one that we really want to go to, but she just needs to email the coach and let him know because I don't know when college gets out. I think it's like it's summer in June, but summer in May. And I don't want to like go up there if school's out. I mean, I'm sure I can still get a hold of the coach, but I've never like done college visits before so I really don't know what to do or expect you know my friend Lisa when her, she went on college visits for Eva it was different because that was still right when they were coming out of you know La Rona and everything so they were kind of on their own so I'm not quite sure how to do everything um Bella did get a piece of mail, a, 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 I don't know if it's a letter or what, I didn't really look at it, from uh, Oregon, Oregon State. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, I haven't really looked into it. I don't know how she feels about it because she didn't really look at it. I know she wants to stay in California, but we shall see. The fact that her tuition is free in California because I am a retired and well disabled veteran. That helps out a lot. Obviously, it narrows down school choices, but who knows what can happen. She did take her AP calculus exam last week and she said it was ungodly hard. So we will see. I hope she did well. I know she's relieved that it's over. Um, she's taking AP statistics next year. I'm not quite sure. I don't know if she said she was taking physics or not, but we're really going to have to get on the ball of these things. But other than that, you know, that's what's been going on with me. Um... I just did, uh, I'm trying to catch up on videos. I've been batch filming, I've been cleaning. I had to go food shopping, which was annoying. Um, the one time I wanted avocados like to eat right now, they didn't have any, They were, I mean, they did, they had tons of them, but God, they were so expensive for out here. Normally at Walmart, they're like 50 cents a piece. I could have probably gone to one of the Mexican grocery stores out here and gotten some if I really wanted to, but I didn't want to go make the extra trip. But the avocados, like, and these are like just the normal ones, were like almost a dollar a piece. And out here, that's unheard of. I noticed that a lot of stuff has risen in price. 
you know, things are getting expensive. Oh, um, yeah, you guys, other than that, nothing really has been going on too much. I'm just trying to relax. Oh, so I'm going to be making another video. I came up with this idea that I had seen from somebody else, so I can't take full credit for it. But, um, you know, I do get a lot of promotion packages from budget-friendly kits, and they, I literally have white little baggies everywhere. So I came up with an idea, well, I didn't, I can't take credit for it, but I'm doing this idea that I found that someone, what someone else does with theirs, and I'm going to make a little video about it, but it's going to be time consuming, so hopefully I can get it out this week. I'm hoping to get to a point where I can um, kind of have, send out like a, make a community post of what videos are coming up, but right now that's not feasible. I just kind of do them as I have time. That's why it took me so long to get up that um, four year anniversary release video of all the kits I picked up. So did anybody else pick up any kits? Um, I've seen a couple. Well, actually really only like one or two people put up a video about what they've got, but I'd like to hear from you guys. What kits did you get from uh, Diamond Art Club's four year anniversary drop? That was amazing, right? It was like almost like a Black Friday flashback. And what did you guys think about, um, did you guys go and vote at all? Did you see the voting that was on Diamond Art Club's Facebook page on Friday? Or it would be last Friday. Um, that was pretty cool too. I was really um, excited. There was some artwork from Camelia, Camelia De Erico. I really love her work. There was a lot of um, vintage Halloween ones with the black cats, um, with the darker type landscapes. Some really cool stuff coming. And as much as I love it, you know, my wallet doesn't. I'm constantly having to reorganize. But um, yeah, this kit right here has kind of really held me up. Plus I got busy and I took like a two week break. I hadn't diamond painted for over two weeks. And if I had, it was like 45 minutes total. Not enough to really do anything. All right, this part right here is like the mountain. So it's like super getting in with the confetti. So I think what I'm gonna start doing is just like working my way down, even if that means I have to change colors. I don't want to have to keep concentrating and ignoring you guys. So I wanted to um, film this real quick just because that way I can edit it, whatever, while I'm making dinner or after dinner because time just seems to fly by. Like, I want to take like two weeks where I don't have to do anything. I just can diamond paint, like they take two weeks off of work and just diamond paint. That would be amazing if I could do that. But unfortunately, I need to save my vacation as much as possible because um, you know, Bella's swim meets, that's when I take my vacation, especially when we have to travel. But, yeah. Holiday, summer holidays are going to start coming up. Memorial Day, so that'll be nice because we have a meet, but at least then I can get, you know, a day to relax from the meet. Once it's over with, you know, 4th of July is coming up. Today was the first hot day that we have had in a long time. It was nice and sunny. It's been really unseasonably cool here for a while. So I was just like, finally, like what I hate the fact like in the morning where you have to wear like a really like, you need to wear more than a sweatshirt. It'll be like 45 
which is cold for us here. And then it'll go up to like 80 or then it, and it, so that's still like a really big temperature difference. But then we got this cold front and it was like only like in the low 60s, low 60s, high 50s, but the wind was unbearable. Now, if it, there was no wind, it wouldn't have been bad because it was sunny, but yeah. So I don't know who upset Mother Nature. I don't know what she's got going on. If she's experiencing some emotional issues or she's got a lot going on in her personal life, but I'm glad she got it worked out because this weather is just too much. I know I was watching a video that Mindy had posted, I think before she went on vacation or whatever, but she said it was dang snowing. I'm like, people, it is May. Why, Mother May, why is it snowing? I remember growing up in New York, though, one time, um, and it snowed in June and stuck. It was crazy. But that has, I mean, that happened. That was a fluke. That hasn't happened in a long, long time. You guys, I don't feel like I'm ever going to finish this. And I need to because, like I said, this is for Brian's dad for Father's Day. What is going on? Oh, that little piece of plastic. I was like, what the heck happened? That little piece of plastic fell back down. I just need to... Come on, there we go. Oh my God, that looks absolutely horrible. So the reason, like, and I don't even care if it takes me the rest of May. I just need to finish this before June. Um, because I, we want to get it framed because I doubt that I'm going to be able to find just a normal frame for it. You know, it's for Father's Day, um, but if I don't get it done um, or framed by that, maybe we'll just, it'll be a late present or just, we'll just end up just giving it to him like a normal present or a super, super early, early birthday present. I don't know, because his birthday is not until December, so that'd be kind of crazy, right? Be like, Miranda, really? Okay, this seems to be working out a little bit better for me so I'm not searching for everything. What's everybody else working on? I would definitely like to know. And you can tell it's hot because like the plastic from the canvas is like sticking to my legs. Yeah, I definitely, leave me um, in the comments what you guys are working on right now. Um, I just want to get done because I want to participate in Christopher and Angie's um, Pride Month event that they're doing. Um, I have like a couple kits picked out. I would like to do more than one, but I also have some whips that I need to finish. One in particular that I had started and then had to stop. I think I just need to like not be so ambitious for, or um, certain events and just like pick a canvas I know that I can get done. But then again, like I think I can and then stuff always comes up like all the time. And it's just, it's just crazy. One day, I shouldn't even complain because before I know it, this stuff is gonna like, Bella's gonna be graduated and she's gonna be on her own and grown up. And you know, these are special things and all these swim meets and everything, they're gonna go away. So I'm glad I have diamond painting. Everybody asks me, like, God, you have so many kits. Like, how are you even going to do them all? Oh, well, my child has almost graduated, so I'm going to have plenty of time before I know it to diamond paint. So I already know tomorrow I'm really not going to have that much time to diamond paint because I am driving to practice. And by the time I get home, well, I mean, I have been getting home earlier, but I'm tired. And by the time I make something for Bella to eat and everything, it's just before I know it, it's like 930. And I'm like, well, I had, I try to do just like a little bit, but I just flipped the drill down. I try to do a little bit, but um, before I know it, it's like 10.30 and I'm like, oh shit, I need to go to bed because that's just like, wait, I can't be staying up that late because I get up so early, but it's hard sometimes and 
my brain doesn't shut off and I don't feel tired. I have to force myself during the week to go to bed. Of course, then like it catches up with me because Friday I didn't do anything and I fell asleep. Um, I had to go to the bank. Bella wanted to come with me. So we went and got sushi. Um, and then we stopped at the Filipino bakery and they had some dessert chopao. And so, so some that had coconut in it and some that it had the um, ibu. I think I said that right. And that only comes out at certain times of year. It's like a purple like yam type thing. They make ice cream with it too, which is super delicious. So I try to get it as much as I can during these summer months. Um, and then I, I like, I was like so freaking tired. I didn't even realize it. And I fell asleep during, um, Abigail Marie's D stash. So I probably missed something good. I tried to stay up through the whole thing, but it, it just wasn't, just wasn't working out. Let's see. Well, well, you guys, I think that is about it for me. I just wanted to tell you where I've been, what's going on, letting you know that these last two weeks have been amazing. Um, as far as, oh, Brad did take a state exam. Um, he thinks he passed it, so he'll officially find out tomorrow or Tuesday. Um, hopefully tomorrow, but it's, it is 48 hours. I guess, business days or whatever, two business days that they tell you. And I'm just super excited for him. So hopefully he passed his um his state exam for licensing. As far as him moving up here, I am not so sure that's going to happen anymore. But I know he is excited that he's finally going to be able to diamond paint. And I will too. So right now he's like decompressing because he says it's like he feels like he's been living under a rock for the last year and a half and I don't blame him but he is definitely coming up for a visit so I'm really um excited for that and I know it's gonna be longer than just a weekend um I don't know if I'm gonna have any time off work but it's not like he won't have a ton of stuff to do while I'm at work anyway he's got the dogs um, if it's during the summer, Bella will be, you know, off school. So he, oh, I just put those both upside down so they can hang out. They can go get lunch. They can go do stuff. Um, hopefully it'll be like around when there's a meet so he can see that because he missed the entire high school season. I know that was really, really hard for him, especially because he missed, you know, her doing so well. So hopefully he'll be able to come up when there is a meet going on. But yeah, so I think I'm gonna end this now before I just start uh, rambling on and on. I'm sorry this wasn't um, a typical hour that I do, but I guess I got everything done and talked about before that. All right, you guys, well, that is it for me. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and like I and I hope you enjoyed all the pictures and everything that I've put in and the little video um, I put in of Melissa and I um, going down, coming back from Moore Park. It was definitely interesting. You guys will get to see some of the sights of California. So if you made it all the way to the end of this whip and chat, leave me some sort of um emoji that reminds you of California, whether it's a palm tree or a bear or what have you, or what reminds you of California or what you think about California as far as like what you imagine it's like or whatever the case may be. Just leave me a fun emoji. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll talk to you later and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.